I'm Karina Chin with KarinaStamps.com and I want to welcome you today to my YouTube and Facebook Live. I'm going to talk about and put together some cards using Paper Pumpkin. Now, I this is a this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So every Tuesday at one Mountain Standard Time, I do a Facebook YouTube Live, and it's usually a fancy fold card. And then once a month, I wanted to start doing a paper pumpkin alternative card with you, and put together a couple cards using the kit. So again, I'm Karina Chen. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, and I've been stamping for 16 years. So I thought this would be fun to do with you. Every month I get two kits. And uh, Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription kit that you can get in the mail. You can either just get one month and add it on to one of your orders, or you can subscribe monthly. Now, the better deal is to get a monthly subscription. There's three months, six months, 12 months, um, I just go month by month by month and just get my two kits and I usually sell one to a friend and keep one for myself. So if you have a paper pumpkin kit, go and grab it and dig it out. Now I'm not sure if anyone's joining me today because this is the first time I've done this in a long time. So if you like the video, make sure you like, share, leave me a comment, join in because we're just kind of winging it tonight. I will see how it goes. And uh, if you're watching the recording, make sure to leave a comment and I would uh, really appreciate that. Okay, so let's get started. I am just going to go down to my desktop. So the reason why I'm doing Paper Pumpkin tonight is that today is the last day to get the June Paper Pumpkin Kit. So you have to sign up tonight for it and it is featuring the Country countryside in product suite and i say that because i'm hesitating now oh my goodness it's this suite here countryside in i showed this today on my youtube and facebook live video at one o'clock and we made this super fun uh tuck card so i thought i would do that with the paper pumpkin kit and then you can see it made again because i think it's a super cool card the pdf tutorial will be on my blog later uh today or tomorrow and if you're wondering what my blog is it is karinastamps.com if you wanted to place an order today you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net and the hostess code is J-P-P-B-K-S-Q-M. And today, if you watch the earlier video that I did, you'll see who won the Stamp and Write Markers. Because I was on a trip to Norway, and my friend Travelin' Joe joined me on the Norway trip. And if you had followed my Instagram and Facebook Live and told me where 10 spots that you saw Travelin' Joe your name got entered into a draw to win this. Now, I don't know if the winner has seen the video yet, so I'm not going to announce her name. She's going to pick one set of markers as a thank you gift for me. Okay, so let's get started uh, with the paper pumpkin kit. Oh, Sandra's here. Hello, Sandra. Thanks for watching me. Do you have paper pumpkin kit or grab a kit? You can stamp along with me and make this card. I think you're going to like it. It's super fun. I'm not sure if we're going to do this in our mon Wednesday morning card class or not. I've done it two times now. I can't, I don't know if I'll be able to do it again. Hard to say. I don't like repeating cards. I always like making new fun ones. Okay. First of all, the paper pumpkin kit, oh, it's around 30-ish dollars in Canada. I don't know, the price always changes. And then I had an op optional add-on that you could add on this month. And the add-on is called Exploring in Color Cards and Envelopes. Anybody know how much this was? 16? I don't know, but this is uh, what the cards look like. This is what the envelopes look like. Super cute. So this is what I'm going to use to make my alternative. And let's just open this one up. Okay, so the paper pumpkin kit that ends tonight is called Welcome In. You can add on a die that coordinates with this paper pumpkin. I did get mine. Um, I think it was around $8. This is what it looks like. Whenever paper pumpkin has extra add-on things, I'm a collector, so I just love to add it on. Right, and I have a starter kit number. So whenever I order, I save 20%. That's one of the perks of having a starter kit. 
and the starter kit is on special right now so if you're interested you can ask me after send me a message uh, the cost is 135 dollars no shipping no gst in canada and you get extra product this month so you can choose 206 dollars in products so it is a steal of a deal okay so this is the kit you need to subscribe to this month by today I don't know if you can do it tomorrow. I think it's today. And then this is the add-on collection um, that comes with this kit. And of course, there's no price on here. So no clue. No clue. Oh, look, and it even gives you instructions. Who knew it did that? Ha, huh, I guess I should open my kit next time, right? Okay, let's set this aside. Maybe we can make that one. Now, you always get a fun stamp set. And a lot of people collect these. Because I don't know how many years I've been getting this. But I usually sell these off on my Bible and get one free sale. So I don't have a lot of them left. But I love it. So what have we got here? Happy birthday. Life is meant for good friends and great adventures. It doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you. And cheers to another adventure. And then you always get an ink spot. And if you, are, and if you subscribe for the first time... You will also get a paper pumpkin block in your kit. Now, because I'm already a subscriber, I did not get one in my kit. Okay, let's see here. Let's open it up. Do, 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 do. Did anybody peek at theirs? Oh, is there people coming on? Oh, hello, Brenda. Nice to see you. Kathy, hello. And Lisa, nice to meet you. You haven't opened yours yet? Am I going to ruin your surprise? I could not do this and go walk my dog, but no, just kidding. Little Otto will get a walk after. I have a mini schnauzer who is oh, about a year and not quite a year and a half old. So he may bark because he's probably wondering why I'm not walking him right now, but I'm going to do that after. Okay, let's see what we got in our kit. Okay. I want to wreck the pretty blue paper. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? Okay, we'll just fold it nicely. You guys are probably laughing at me. Fold it nicely. There we go. I don't know. I'm sure I'll put it in a kit bag or something. Okay, guys. So, you want to open your kit, and it's going to make three cards. It's going to make three of each design. So, that's super fun. Now, I do have a couple tips. You do get an unboxing video when you get these kits. So, if you like to just watch a quick two-minute video on how to put your cards together... That's what I would recommend. I did watch it quickly to see what it looks like. Because like I said, I barely ever use my kits. They always go in my BOGO sales. I'm the worst. I, I am truly a collector. Okay, now the other thing you want to get if you're getting paper pumpkin kits or any kits, right? If you just don't want monthly subscriptions. I also got this one. Maybe I'll do this one. Maybe next week. I don't know. Confetti birthday kit. We'll open that. But you need a pair of scissors. I recommend that you have some kind of a glue. It does come with some, but I like this stuff better. And uh, maybe some glue dots and buy yourself a take your pick tool. Okay, so if you were a new paper pumpkin subscriber and you've never got your any of the supplies before, send me a ma message and I'll give you a discount on the shipping. Because you really do need these supplies. Okay, so let's open this up. Here we go. Ooh, it looks like we got some linen twine or linen thread, which I love. I have tons of linen thread. I think I've got five rolls on the go. You get Stampin' Dimensionals. So if you pull these back, you can actually see they're double-sided um, double sided adhesive foam cut in the shape of a hexagon. And uh, I really like the mini ones. I use the mini ones all the time because, look, you get more. So if you run out of these, it's okay. You can buy these ones. I think they're $6. And I don't know. Do you get 5,000 of them? No, that's too many. I don't know how many you get, but it's pretty good. Okay, now what do we have? Oh, my gosh. Are these buffalo? These are so cute. Do you know in um, not too far from Edmonton, we actually have a park? And we have buffalo at the park. We went a couple years ago and I was shocked. We were driving our car and the big guy came right up to us. It was a little scary. He was just as big as the car. Okay, what do we have? Mountain scenes. Ooh, you know what? This is pretty. This is great for masculine cards. So I think this would be perfect for a Father's Day card. 
Oh, and look at these. Okay, so we have three, three buffalo cards. We have three mountain canoe cards. Oh my gosh, my dad will love this. I'm from Flim Flon, Manitoba originally, so I'm telling you, we did fishing, we did camping, we did hiking. It's a pretty small community up there. So lots of outdoorsy stuff, but that's where I grew up. It's super fun. And then these little guys are your glue dots. Okay, and then if you, like I said, eventually run out, you can also get glue dots like this that we sell in the catalog. And then we have... Oh my goodness, we got bonus stickers this month. Oh, how fun is that? Oh, I don't know where I'm going to put this because I just came back from the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip and I got some stickers. This might have to be a door prize because these are super cute. So let's just tuck those aside. And then we got a bunch of labels. And then we got um, a compass, some binoculars. And is that it? What's in here? I thought there was another shape. Maybe not. Okay, we'll put this here. And then the best part, if you read instructions, I don't read. Does anybody else not read? I'd rather watch a video any day because uh, reading's hard. Ooh, no, it looks like this one does not have any little binoculars or anything. Okay, so if you don't know how to put this together, you can look at the picture. It even shows you how to fold your linen thread. It shows you where to put your glue dots, one, two, three, four on the label. Um, has great picture instructions. It even has a ruler on your instructions sheet so that you can measure the amount of linen thread that you have. And I think what I'll do is I'll just put one of these together for you. Which one looks like it's the hardest? Maybe this one. Okay, let's try this one here. We'll do card number two. Oh no, I don't want to do card number two, do I? What if these look different? I don't know. I'm just looking at my alternatives. So I'm going to show you one with an um, alternative. Hold on a second. Oh, look, they are a little different. So the alternatives look like they're not the alternatives. This was the Exploring in Color Cards and Envelopes. So they are a little different because these have pictures on both sides. This only has a picture on one side oh interesting oh my gosh i'm so excited now i have 18 card bases i can make a whack of cards okay well let's put one of these together yeah i am totally shocked if you're going oh my gosh she sounds so surprised i am this is super fun this is the first paper pumpkin kit i've done in i think since christmas i needed a few more christmas cards okay so following along in the instructions grab your canoe base we're just going to fold that in half Get your handy dandy bone folder to make a nice crisp crease so you can add this to your order as well and uh, i put my name on it because what i used to do into our classes i always left my bone folder everywhere okay and then it's showing that we need this moody mauve piece moody mauve so let's grab this and this is the only one i'm going to do following the instructions and i'll show you my fun fancy fold because you're going to want to make that Okay, now it says that we need 20 inches of twine. Do I have any twine on the go? I do. Let's go to my little kit here. Oh, yeah. Look at the twine. This is how I usually buy it. I'm not going to open this one because this one's ready to go. Okay, so 20 inches, 20 inches. Whoa, that's like the whole sheet. That's a lot of twine. Okay, we'll just set that aside. And we are just going to wrap it around. One, two, three. One, two, three. That sounds about right. And I'm just going to tie a bow. And again, I'm not really watching the instructions. I'm watching. I'm not really reading the instructions. I've kind of got... I'm taking a peek at, at them with the corner of my eye. But really, when I stamp, I go rogue. I always do whatever. Whatever I feel like doing. That's the fun part of creating. But, you know, super quick little bow. And my picture instructions say to put it here. And it even shows it. We need one, two, three, four Stampin' Dimensionals. So we will, I find if you, yeah, we'll put them on. But if you fold them back, you can see where the hexagon is. 
and we'll just pop them down like so and see you can peel off the backing because it's a double-sided foam but really i take my take your pick tool and let's just flick pick and flick um pick and flick now if you guys are not busy tomorrow at i think let's say 7 30 i'm gonna do a brand new stamping demonstration called easy stamping one two three i'm gonna spin a wheel it's gonna be like a game and we're gonna make the card it's gonna be super fun so make sure to tune in tomorrow if you're not busy or watch the replay and let me know what you think so my plan is to do facebook lives like i've always done them and then add on my wednesday one two three easy stamp one two three plus because i thought that would be super fun okay so this is almost done already now it says you take your ink spot you put your stamp on the block so let's use my paper pumpkin block and we are putting on here life is meant for good friends and great adventures oh my gosh is this could this be any better for father's day cards masculine birthday cards you know the whole nine yards now i am going to use my copper clay i don't know how everybody else opens it it's perforated here I usually, I'm bad, I just take scissors. Okay, don't do this. Don't do this because you might actually hurt yourself. I'm not doing it. Don't watch me. Okay, you never saw that. There we go. No Stampin' Up! demonstrators were hurt in the process of making this video. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I like to put my photopolymer stamp on my block and set it on my table. And I like to ink it up upside down. Now, these spots are great because you can keep them forever. If they start getting dry, you can actually buy a Stampin' Up! ink refill in the color that you want. And then these are what the big pads look like. So these big pads are around 10, well, they were 10 something. I don't know. Are they 11 now? And then they have the ink spot, so you can buy an ink refill and uh, just ink it up and make them juicy again. Now, I have a feeling that I should have cleaned off my photopolymer stamp set first. You can just get a little rag and wipe it off because sometimes they have a bit of a coating on it and it looks like the ink is beating off. Now, I'm just going to try go for it anyway. Nope, hold on. I changed my mind. Let's clean it off. So this is a Simply Chamois. Let's see if it works better when you clean it. Uh, this actually comes in one big piece, but I cut mine into four. It's just, I like to clean things like that. I feel it works better. Okay, now is this not beating off now? Take a look. Yeah, it's a lot better. Make sure you clean your photopolymer stamp set before you ink it up. And give it a nice press. Hold it there for a couple seconds and bam. Okay, that's not bad. Right? And then it says to put on glue dots this time. Where's our little glue dots? Now, someone was telling me that they love these glue dots and wish that Stampin' Up! would actually sell them. So I'm going to give them a try. It says to put them on the four corners. There we go. So is it nice where you are? It is so sunny and beautiful outside right now. I feel like it's an ice cream night. It's a good thing I live in uh, Edmonton and our weather's terrible. Most of the time of the year it's cold. Otherwise I'd be eating ice cream all the time. So it's probably good I live where I do. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to put this down right like this. Hold on. Let's just move this up. We're going to lift this up and... Ta-da! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, I think it would be super fun to have a boot on the inside of the cart. So I'm going to add a boot. Now I have extra blocks. I recommend getting extra blocks if you get into card making. Now I didn't wash this guy. Let me just take this. Oh no, I can't wash them all. I'll just do this one quick because I think it needs a boot on the inside. What do you think? Right? probably have hiking boots if you're going fishing in a canoe because you got to get out and go on the sharp rocks i don't know maybe they'd be waterproof let's put a little boot in here 
Okay, ta-da, there is my card. Now, where's the coordinating envelope? What do you think? Which one goes with that? I guess it doesn't matter. Buffalo? I'm going to do a buffalo. Okay, there we go. There is the first card for Paper Pumpkin. Isn't that easy? Now, let's see. I'd get you to show my card. This is why I like Zooms. Yeah, hi, Catherine. How are you? You're in, uh, yeah, Kalmar Sunny too. Nice. I actually have to go to Camrose on Saturday. I think that's not the same direction as Kalmar, however. I haven't been to Kalmar for a couple years. I went to a party there once and it was super fun. Super fun. Like a dinner party. Not a crazy party, you guys, but just a nice little dinner party. Okay, who else is here? Oh, Inez is here. Hello, Inez. Nice to see you. And Natalie. Nice to see you as well. Okay, are you guys ready to do the fancy fold card? Now, if you watch me this afternoon, you'll probably find this a little boring. But you might just want to cut and score it again. So I'm just going to put this away. Because I think everybody can follow the instructions to make these cards. If you can't, send me a message and I'll go on Zoom with you and help you out. Now, I'm going to just set these aside because I wanted to show you the difference with this add-on that they have. Because I thought it was the same. It's not. They're a little different. So let's check this out. You get 18 of these. Oh, interesting. A solid color card. Solid colored envelopes. And then you get three cards that look like this. Interesting. Okay, so what do you get? 18, so that must be 6 times 3 is 18. So you get 6 in Boho Blue. You get 6 in Moody Mauve. Oh, there's no buffaloes on this card. Where are my bison? Where are those guys? Oh, look at that. So this is what the extra kit looks like. I have no clue what I paid for this. I'd say less than $20. But it's kind of cool. But don't you love how it all coordinates? I love it when Stampin' Up! does this. It's super fun. Okay, now I think I'm going to make an alternative with this one right here. Now, if you don't have these, if you didn't order the add-on, don't worry about it. Instead, what I would do is grab probably this one. I would grab this one because look how similar it is, right? And I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do with the card front. Okay, so let's set this aside. Over here, and I'm going to put this, yeah, not in my box. I'm going to put the instructions over here for this one. And I am going to get a piece of copper clay cardstock. So this is going to be my kit. Stick that over there. And you are going to cut a piece of copper clay cardstock or whatever color you want, which is going to be five and a half inches by eight inches. So not eight and a half, but eight inches. Okay, and I'm just going to tuck these over here so I'm organized because if you know me, man, things just go missing. It's crazy. Okay, ready to go. So we need to get our Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. Best trimmer on the market as far as I'm concerned. I do love it. Okay, I'm just going to put all these old pieces over here so I don't get messed up. Now, the measurement for this, as I'm laughing, where did my measurement piece go? Uh, I think it, oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to score this at 1 and 7 eighths of an inch. Now, I told the girls earlier today that if you don't like 7 eighths of an inch, you go to 1 and 3 quarters. And then it's not the smallest line, but it's the next to larger line. It's in between 1 and 3 quarters and 2, so it's a little bit longer. That's 1 and 7 eighths. And if you're not sure, you can actually count the longer lines. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 eighths. 2 would be 8. And then the little dashes in between are sixteenths. But seriously, who wants to make cards using one sixteenth of an inch? Not me. Forget that. Although I think I have. <laughs> I did. Okay, so one and seven eighths of an inch. So not two, the longer line next to two. We're just going to score that. 
And then we're going to go to three and three quarters. Okay, and then we're going to four and a quarter. And then we're going to six and one eighth. Now, I don't like that because it gets into this kind of dead space on my trimmer. So I just go like this. We'll flip it over and, and let's just do that first measurement again, which was one and seven eighths. Now, because I don't have my video tutorial or my uh, PDF instruction quite done, and if you are stamping along with me, let's just get a piece of paper. So the measurements, the score lines were one and seven eighths, four, nope, three and three quarters, four and a quarter, and six and one eighth of an inch. Okay, those are your score lines. My PDF tutorial will be on my blog tomorrow after I walk auto. I'll do that. Okay, and then look, you get this super fun base. Now, I need some designer series paper because what happens with this is it goes like this. You got a valley, mountain, mountain, valley fold. So your card looks a little weird, but it's going to be nice when it's all done. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. All right, this is my video from today. You can go and watch it. Is that not gorgeous? But how fun is that? So that's exactly what we're making. But instead of the country, what is this? Countryside in designer series paper, I'm going to use a card front. So I need two pieces like this. It needs to be one and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so let's just cut this off. Um, I'll do something else with it later. Well, let's do one and seven eighths of an inch. And then if I do it on this side, one and seven eighths of an inch, it's going to kind of look like a puzzle. It'll fit together nicely. Okay, so I want this to be my front, so I need to fold this over. Oh, wait a second, and it has to be five and a quarter. One and seven eighths by five and a quarter. One and seven eighths by five and a quarter. I think this is going to be super cool. Hold on a second. Not five and a half, five and a quarter. And then I have two pieces that fit together like a puzzle. Okay, super easy so far. Now, when you're building this card, you want to actually close it up like a book. And this is going to be my front. Did I not do one and seven eighths? Let me see. Hold on. Let's get the ruler out, you guys. Oh, this has to be one, two, three, four, five. One and five eighths. That's okay. I'll just do it again. Because you want it to be a smidge smaller. So one and five eighths is you go to one and a half and then the next line. One and five eighths. Okay, now let's check it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, let's take this off one and five eighths which means i gotta change my tutorial that i did okay it's gonna look like this okay there we go hopefully i didn't mess you guys up but yeah so these panels you need two of them at one and five eighths of an inch and I'm just going to glue it down. Now you can use your glue dots that came in your paper pumpkin kit. But I'm not. I like my green glue because I'm fast. I can stamp really fast. And I like the fact that uh, I can move it. And see how I got a little bit of glue on my finger? You just take some hand sanitizer after you're done your um, card. And then you just clean it off and it comes. Uh, the hand sanitizer removes all the stickiness. Okay, is that not looking great so far? Now for the inside of the card, I need some designer series paper. So I thought I might as well use the in color designer series paper that coordinates. So you can get a whole pack. It just comes in a few different designs. Uh, it comes in four designs and it comes in 
the five in colors and we're going to cut this down again it has to be one and five eighths of an inch so let's see let's see let's see did i do that right yes i did and then you need two pieces of basic white cardstock also cut at one and five eighths of an inch so let's see if that is correct there's one and a half move it over a smidge and there we have it it's that easy it's easy when you have the right measurements okay so let's turn this over do you like the fancy fold inez yeah so you're gonna get to see two different um styles of this card in fact i love it so much i might do it at my wednesday morning card class and my monday night card class so my wednesday morning one is actually in person at a coffee shop in edmonton so if you live in edmonton you're welcome to come we're gonna we usually start at 10 o'clock nine o'clock i think i started it at nine o'clock because we like to chat it's fun and then i also run the class online monday night so if anywhere in canada that you live i can mail you a kit and we stamp together monday night on zoom because i like to chat that's the main reason i do it and i get to see my friends okay can you see what i'm doing so the two designer series paper just goes on the section uh, this is like a half inch section so it goes on the two sections beside it and then this one will put like this no wait a minute before do i have a cute little a little stamp to go on the bottom of my basic white because look i had little flowers before because this is where you can write your sentiment i don't know is this a birthday card what is this i do lots of birthday cards so i usually do birthdays and thank yous birthday thank yous those are my favorite uh team celebration cards like congratulations you've got a promotion you rock or just i'm just happy to see you cards just because cards uh what do you think should i do a compass let's do a compass and a boot compass and a boot now my compass is brand new so what do i have to do we have to clean this baby um ooh, where did it go it's probably in my big pile that's okay i got another one Ooh, see how it's getting dry i need to put water on it so i like to put water on it and keep it moist and wet and when it gets a little stinky or after a while i just put a little bit of hand soap on it and give it a wash in the sink and then it's clean and ready to go okay so let's put on a compass i think it will be great oh it's still beating a bit might need to be cleaned a little more but i think that's okay yeah not too bad and then this one will have a boot i don't know why i like this boot the one of the very first paper pumpkin kits had a boot in it and so many people complain does anyone remember what that sentiment was it was so funny it made me laugh it was the sentiment that they didn't regarding a boot so i don't know if i think of it i will post it because i thought it was hilarious okay this is the inside of my card now you can just cut a rectangle if you want but because i have these amazing countryside end dies i highly recommend the dies the stamp set looks like this it's nice but you know if you're short on funds you don't have to have it but i think you would really use the dies uh, the dies have walked away from me, but luckily I have them already die cut out. So the measurement on this is like three inches by four and a half. And the white one is four by two and a half. So if you don't have fun shapes, then just cut a rectangle. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Hang on a second. I do want the dies. Okay, let me just take a quick perusal because... I thought it would be really fun to cut this out of the paper but if i can't then that's okay then i'll just stamp my sentiment i think that still looks nice doesn't it let's see let's take a quick little peek oh i got a lot of stuff going on here oh yeah here's my dies because what i could have done 
on this other side is I could have actually die cut this piece to go here. Right? Oh my goodness, too many decisions now. What have we got here? I don't want to cut another piece now, do I? No. I'm actually going to go like this and I'm just going to stamp on it. But you could cut another piece if you want. Okay, what sentiments do we have? Can you guys hear Otto? He's pretty excited about something. Okay, let's see. Oh, how about happy birthday? Cheers to another adventure. Okay, now I'm wondering. Oh, somebody's here at the door. No wonder he's so upset. Hopefully, I left my stuff out that I needed to leave out. Or the doorbell will ring. Okay, let's see. Let's just clean this off again. See how hard it is to use? Now, I guess, you know what? Let's keep it in here and go like this. Oh, yeah. That's not so bad. And then we're going to put this here. And we're going to go like this. Ta -da. There we go. We got happy birthday. And then we're going to say here's cheers to another adventure. Another adventure in life. Don't you think? Okay, here we go. And we'll just oh, I forgot to clean it. Wish me luck. This could be a mistake. Cheers to another adventure. I think that looks pretty cute. Now, what do we need on here? We've got these fun little pieces. So I think I'm going to put a binocular right there. Okay. And we'll go like this. And let's just glue this down. And there we go. What do you guys think? Are you wowed yet? Okay, let's put this down. Here. Now I'm just using the ends of my Stampin' Dimensionals. Did you guys know that you could do that? You can actually use one of these sheets and use the end pieces. I use every little bit of these. I might as well because they work really well. And then all I'm going to do is center it like this. And then close it up, and ta-da! There is my alternative project. What do you guys think? Do you like that? And then this is the one from today that looks like this. And the only thing I'm thinking that's missing is some little doodads. So let's see what I've got. I'm not sure. I think these are still current. So these are brush. Ooh, these are nice. Brush metallic adhesive back dot. So let's kind of sprinkle these around here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is this. I like to, I don't like white spaces. Remember how I was going to cut out some of the paper from the card? I think I'm going to do this instead. So we're just going to take this and if you take the cap, put your marker in the cap, we're just going to flip. And then it just kind of spritzes a little bit of color on there. Now be careful that you don't wreck your tip. You can also do this with stamping blends as well. And uh, this is the five pack of markers. So if you want to get the um, ink color markers, they're around $20. Okay, so that is my alternative project for Paper Pumpkin. And I hope I've given you some ideas. And then that's what the Paper Pumpkin kit looks like. So I'll do some more of these. It won't be on a Facebook Live, but I'll just keep playing take puppy for a walk and then I'll post some of the cards and let you know some of the other samples I got but isn't this fun let's just look at the comments quick before I get going Kathy you love it Inez you like the fancy folds yeah, I do lots Inez do I do lots of fancy folds yes I do uh, so tomorrow for my my brand new easy stamp and one two three video I think you guys are going to have fun with it we're going to it's going to be really different, and I hope it goes well. And let's just see, did Sandra get hers done? Uh, Denise, hello, Denise. You're from South Dakota. Nice to meet you. 
And I'm glad you like the card. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'm going to come on monthly to do this. And uh, you can go to Karina Stamps and see what other alternatives I make. So thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Um, it's nice to know I was not stamping by myself. I really appreciate you joining me. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'll uh, answer either on Facebook or you can send me an email. So thanks a lot, guys, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.